Ryan with Miss Dog Geek here, and uh, today I'm having fun playing with uh, <laughs> some PCB material here, and um, you know, just un unetched printed circuit boards uh, that I was planning on doing some homebrewing with at some point. But today the issue is that I'm working on an L match tuner, or just kind of fiddling around looking for one and to build one, and. I've got this Vericon here, which gives me about 80 picofarads, which really isn't enough. I was hoping to get something around 200. And then I, uh, from one of the th things I tore apart last year on my blog, I got this uh, trimmer capacitor, which is tests at 40 picofarad, which is clearly not enough. And I could combine the two and get like 120 picofarad, but still, I think I might need more range. So I thought, well, what's a capacitor except... Con, you know, conductive plates separated by uh, an insulator. And usually the insulator is air, but um, in the Vericon it's, you know, plastic. And I thought, well, fiberglass is an insulator and copper is a conductor. And you can see what the arrangement I've come up with here. This is nothing highly unusual. Lots of hams have done, you know, lots of electronics experimenters for that matter have done similar things. But I thought I would share it because it's fun and and it's kind of silly and it let me rearrange this here. And, um, you know, it, it just let's have some fun experimenting, shall we? So uh, let's just try to get, get some decent lighting here. So these are just the boards I, I bought on Amazon. They're like 50 by, five, was it 50 by 70 or something like that. Um, they're not very big. And by themselves, apart from each other, uh, you know, they don't, they don't test as anything. But um, you can see what I've done here is I've, I've ganged two of these two together and then ganged two of these together and then, you know, sent test leads to the tester. And if I combine them like a deck of cards, I get varying levels of capacitance. So 226 picofarad, not bad. And of course, if I combine them all together, 494 picofarad, almost 500 picofarad. So that's more than enough for an L match tuner. And, and the funny thing is, is that um, this would totally work. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually do it, uh, you know, build a tuner this way. If I did, I think I'd probably want to come up with some sort of way to, you know, slide those in and out without having to actually, you know, sit here and manipulate them manually. Um, but I might, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I just thought it was kind of a fun experiment and, uh, um, you know, nothing earth shattering. It's as you you see other YouTubers do similar things, but the point of this channel is to experiment, to try things, and I've kind of always wanted to try this experiment myself. And even though other people have done it, there's still something gained to be gained by doing it yourself. Um, there, one of the things that you get with experience, um, experience by experiments, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Gain experience by experiments, and this is an experiment. And uh, will I will I use this for a capacitor in my tuner? Probably not. I'm going to try to come up with something a little bit more um, elegant, I suppose. But I mean, because this is quite large. But I've I have enough uh, enclosures. I could do this if I can come up with a way to maybe just have a pull thing that I can, you know, a little pull I can push and pull on. Maybe a knob to push and pull on. I don't know, um, but I've got hot glue, I've got these boards, and uh, I know how to use them. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and um, if you haven't, make sure you click like, subscribe, share the video, and about all these dumb things that we do with our electronics and our time. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching 73, we'll see you next time.